G'day guys, we've got a microeconomics question here for you today, specifically consumer choice. Now we've got a consumer Hillary that spends her money on two goods X and Y with prices PX and PY. Her ordinary demand for good X is estimated by this function here. Now the question is asking us, what is her ordinary demand for good Y? And what is the slope of her compensated Hicksian demand for good X? Now guys, Notice how we haven't been given a utility function for this question. Now we don't ex precisely need one because we do know that the ordinary demand or the optimum demand is when an indifference curve is at tangent with our budget constraint. So we have an optimum solution when the marginal rate of substitution, i.e. our budget constraint, is equal to the indifference curve or our utility function. So what we can do is we could use the budget constraint to find the associated demand for good Y. Okay, so since one of the solutions to um, our demand function is given, i.e. X star, we can use this along with our budget constraint to find what Y star is going to be. So that is going to be the solution to part A of our problem. So this is the optimal consumption bundle here, X star, Y star. And I'm going to use my budget constraint, which is my total income, M, is equal to the price of good X times the optimum amount of good X that I buy, which is denoted X star, plus the price of good Y times the optimum amount of good Y that I'm going to buy, Y star. And what we're looking for in this function is Y star. So what we can do to start with is we already know what X star is going to be. So we can substitute this straight in here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have M is equal to price of X times M divided by the price of X subtract one and then we're going to close our bracket plus the price of Y times the optimum amount of Y that we're going to buy. Cool, so you can see that we've just taken out our price of X term and we're going to solve this so it's Y in terms of all of the other variables. So I'll multiply out my bracket and I'm left with M is equal to price of X. These two price of X's will cancel so I'm just left with M minus the price of X plus the price of Y times Y star. Cool. So I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to take my income over to the other side and you'll notice how it cancels out. And I'll then take my price of X over to the other side, divide by the price of Y, and we finally end up with Y star is equal to the price of X divided by the price of Y. Cool. And that makes sense for a normal good because we could imagine that the demand that we're going to have for good Y, as the price of the other good goes up, the demand for good Y will go up because we will substitute back towards good Y. And as the price that as the price of good Y goes up, the demand will go down, as in they're inversely correlated, hence the price of Y is in the denominator. Okay, well that's part A done, on to part B, which is ask us to find the slope of her compensated demand for good X. Now for this, what we're going to use is we're going to use the Slutsky equation because compensated demand takes into account not only the price effect of changes in our demand, but also the effect of the changing of an individual's income and how that affects the change in the individual's preferences or demand for a particular good. So basically to find the slope of this compensated demand, we're going to say the overall demand or the Hicksian, the change in the level of Hicksian demand with respect to price is equal to the change in Marshallian demand with respect to price plus the change in demand of the good with respect to income times the actual amount of good that we have. So let's go and have a look and at what each of these parameters are in our Slutsky equation. Because basically, this relates Hicksian and Marshallian demand together. So first of all, we're going to work out what the change in our Marshallian demand is with respect to the price. 
And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first derivative of this function with respect to the price of good x. So what we have is, let's just write down our function first. We have d of x is equal to m divided by the price of x minus 1. Great, and hopefully you guys are fully aware of how derivatives work. So for this one, what we can do, okay, so we're just going to draw an arrow across, and what we're going to have is we're going to have the delta d of x on delta p of x is equal to negative m on px squared. Cool, so hopefully you guys are aware of how derivatives work. Let's just draw another arrow. We're going to take another partial derivative, but in this case with respect to income. And what we have left is we're just going to have delta d of x with respect to delta m is just simply equal to 1 divided by p of x. Great. So now what we're going to do with both of these identities or these equations is we're going to substitute both of these back into our Slutsky equation. So we can have delta h of x with respect to delta p of x is equal to delta d respect to delta p, which is negative m divided by p x squared plus 1 over p of x times x. Cool. So what we can do now is we're going to make the bases the same on both of these. So this is going to be equal to negative m over, so we're going to times this side by 1 over of p of x over p of x. So plus p of x times x all divided by p of x squared. And what we could do now is we could just rearrange this formula and have this is equal to, so delta h of x over delta p of x is equal to, let's just take the p of x squared out the front, 1 on p of x squared outside of, we've got price of x times x minus income, like that. And obviously, guys, the income is always going to be greater than the amount of money that we spend on one of the goods out of two. So this is always going to be less than or equal to zero. So there you have it, guys. What we've found is the slope of the compensated demand function, which is equal to 1 over the price of x squared in brackets p of x, x minus m. And obviously, this because our income is always going to be greater than or equal to the amount that we spend on one of the two goods, this is always going to be less than zero. So I hope this video helped, guys. What we basically were able to do is we're able to use the Slutsky equation to derive the slope of our compensated Hicksian demand, and we're also able to find our ordinary Marshallian demand without a utility function to start with by using the fact that the indifference curve will equal the budget constraint at the optimum bundle. So I hope this video helped guys. Be sure to subscribe if it did, like the video, share it with your friends, but most of all just keep on enjoying it and I hope to see you back at my channel sometime soon.